So when you're only spending a maximum of one season at a club in a mercenary career, I guess jumping ship halfway through a season is a little bit of a risk, but a win today, and it will be a gamble that's paid off. Here we go then, a chance to be champions with a game to spare, but this has got FMing written all over it. We are away at bottom of the table and already relegated Tuzla Spore. This has the look of a game where they only have one shot in the entire 90 minutes, but it goes in probably in own goal, whereas we have 50 shots, 48 of them on target, an XG of 9, but somehow managed to hit the woodwork 12 times and come away from this game defeated. Since the Kasim Pasha game, we've only played one of the fixture, and it was the second leg of our Turkish Cup semi-final at home to Trabzonspor. We were 2-1 up from the first leg, and although the first half was a pretty even affair, very few highlights occurring, we did manage to score in the second half, with Temel finding the net after 78 minutes, and Hakan hit another blockbuster on 86 minutes, to mean that we progressed comfortably in the end, 4-1 on aggregate, and we've set up a cup final against Galatasaray, a side that we've not faced since we moved to Turkey, but we're going to be taking on our fiercest rivals in the cup final at the end of the season. The dreams of cup finals will have to wait for another day, because today it's about league action and trying to seal that title. A win would push us onto 71 points, and with only six more to contest, the most Besiktas or Traps on Sport could accumulate would be 70. So we would have won our second European League title since we started our mercenary career. Yes, we've had plenty of promotions, but the only other time we've won a top division was when we did the double with Cluj a fair few years ago. This would mean that we would have the chance to do a double again in a bigger league this time with Turkey and really set us up to try to apply for some big jobs in our final two seasons of this series. But the job market is pretty arid right now. I'm not sure there's anything there that we would apply for. I think we're going to have to wait until the European seasons finish before clubs begin to sack their manager. But I am becoming increasingly of the mindset that maybe the big job that we crave might not become available at the end of the season. And maybe if I holiday for six months until January, February time, and start looking at the big sides in the big leagues that are dispensing with the services of their current bosses, maybe we might be able to secure ourselves a job that we could take over at the end of that season, and a year out from the game might be our best shot at landing an opportunity at a really big European side. The difficulties in the job market are matched by problems with injuries in the squad, I'm afraid. Olafsson is still out injured, our first choice goalkeeper. He has a sports hernia. He's not going to return to fitness for another three days, and I don't think he's going to be fit enough for today's game. And we saw Chukovin limp off in our last episode with a foot injury. Turns out it was a fairly bad one. He was due to miss a month of the season. He's missed two weeks of that already. He's got another two weeks to serve. He might have an outside chance of being back for a cup final against Galatasaray, but I don't think he's going to play any further part in our league campaign. So in for today's game comes 29-year-old Gokdanese by Rakdar. He's not been that well used by me since I took over, but he's fairly experienced. He doesn't have any standout attributes, I suppose, but he's given us plenty of cover in the wide areas. But today, we're going to ask him to be our centre forward and try and find some goals that might fire us to the title. It is a typical banana skin against a side that are already relegated. Let's check out what they have to offer in the scout report. Tuzla Spor are another side that herald from Istanbul, making this yet another local derby. Coach Chiat Arslan has been in charge for almost 10 years, but he's been unable to save the side from relegation this season. Tuzla Spor are the first side to be confirmed as relegated this campaign, and they need a win this afternoon to try and avoid coming bottom. They will at least have the home support behind them as Tuzla Spor take on Fenerbahce. We have a free kick early on in this game, a win and we are champions, but our opponents have lined up in a very negative 4-1-4-1 formation. This has the feel of a game that could be frustrating. We don't have to win it, of course. If both of our rivals also lose their games and we are defeated, we will still be crowned champions, but we'd like to try and do it in style if we can. And Temel has brought the ball down the left. We've worked it to Mora, and I think scoring before half-time 
could be crucial for us. And we have got that goal. The man that has come in as the backup striker for Chukovin. We managed to fire him up and motivate him during the team talk by telling him that we had faith in him. And the 29-year-old's done the business out on the pitch. Mura sends the ball into the box. Atgul has an effort that's deflected. And Gok Denise manages to pounce on the effort and force it past the keeper to put us 1-0 up early on. Trabzonspor and Besiktas are both drawing in their games. We are still 1-0 ahead and we've got Temel on the ball and he's worked it to Umit. And we've struck a post in our bid to try and find a second goal before half-time in this fixture. We've got another chance now though. Umit breaks into the box. He can deliver it over and Gok Denise has another effort. He's come in and performed pretty well so far. But we are looking good at the moment. Six points clear of Besiktas. It's going to be great if those teams drop points. It's just going to make that winning margin at the top of the table look even more convincing. And given we were sixth when we took over, it's looking pretty good. Gok Denise might be offside, but he's certainly come into the side and impressed, even if this goal is ruled out. And it's not ruled out, giving us something to think about ahead of the Turkish Cup final. Because if Chukovin is not fully fit, it looks like we might have found ourselves a backup striker that might be able to play against Galatasaray and potentially be a threat. We're coming forward again now. We've got the ball with Carlson. We are looking very, very potent so far. And Gok Denise on a hat trick is actually unselfish. And we've hit the post again. As we hit half time, all is going well so far. Surely there is not a heartbreaking script to be written in the second half. So Trabs on Spore have raced into a three-goal lead, scoring all of them just around either side of half time. So they're going to win their game. So we're going to need to win ours if we're going to be champions. Carlson has a header that's gone narrowly over the bar. We're going to check in with Besiktas. They're still drawing 1-1. But Trabs on Spore, in fact, they've just taken the lead in their game. It's 2-1. So both our rivals are winning. We're still just two goals ahead. I think we're going to bring on some substitutions. To try and freshen things up. 10 minutes to go. 2 0 up against a team already relegated. You can't throw it away from here, can you? Of course you can. This is football manager. We're moving our way towards stoppage time. Two minutes added on. And we've done enough. You know, we are going to be crowned Turkish League title winners. Let's just see the table to confirm it. And there is that league table. And I don't mind admitting I'm pretty proud of that accomplishment, bearing in mind where we were when we took over the club. We were seven points off the leaders when we joined Fenerbahce. And we've now won the league by at least four points. And we've wrapped it up with a game to go. And we still haven't suffered defeat since we arrived. But have we got one more performance in us? Wouldn't it be great to go through our entire spell with Fenerbahce unbeaten? and win a league and cup double by beating our fierce rivals Galatasaray in the cup final next episode.